four. Like four plus four is eight. That's right. Two plus two is four. That's right. April is a rainbow month of sudden sp springtime showers with bright golden daffodils and lots of pretty flowers. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be making this video for you guys because it is a super highly requested video. And I would also like to thank The Good and the Beautiful for sponsoring today's video. They are an amazing company that we are currently using their curriculum for Layla's kindergarten work. So today's video is actually about a review of the kindergarten work that Layla has been doing with The Good and the Beautiful. So if you have watched my channel for a little while, you may know about six months ago, around the start of the school year, I did a little curriculum review when we first started The Good and the Beautiful, and I gave a little overview on what came with all of the curriculum for language arts, math, and handwriting, and a little bit of what we had been doing in that and what Layla had learned so far. And now as it is just about uh, rounding out the end of the school year, I was gonna give a little updated review on that and my thoughts, how Layla is, what, what comes in the curriculum in case you're curious and are interested for your own child. So if you're curious to see what I have to say, then stay tuned. So for Layla, what I purchased was the language arts curriculum, the math K curriculum, and the level K handwriting. So um, she tested right in about the level to order the level K. What's an amazing thing that I think more people need to know is if you're not sure what level your child will fit into, since this is like a homeschool curriculum and some people not, might not know, on their website, they have an assessment for your child to take that will let you know exactly what level they're ready for. And it has been so helpful for Layla and for my younger daughter, Samara, when wondering what I should order to be able to teach them where they're going to fit. I don't want it to be too easy. I want them to actually learn from it. I don't want it to be too hard so they get frustrated and give up. <laughs> I want them to be ready for the information and it be challenging. And I think that is something that more people need to know about. So check it out. I'll have the links in the description down below. I'll also have a link down below of my um, older review of the curriculum from the beginning of the year if you want to check that out too and kind of compare the two and see where we're at now. So um, let's start with language arts. So what comes with language arts is I didn't buy the whole set. I, I think I'm, I didn't get the reader um, but I did get the course book because it was like late in this in the year by the time I got around purchasing it all. I got the course book. Um, it comes with the flashcards and these, it's like a ton of flashcards that will get you through a few levels of language arts. Um, these little mini books and we're almost finished with them all. This is just the one that Layla has most recently finished. And then these amazing beginner book boxes and the curriculum will prompt you in the uh, lesson when the child should read them and when they should move on to the next um, box. Same thing with the mini books and the flashcards. The curriculum will let you know like in the lesson when you should be utilizing these and having them, having the child go over them. In the beginning of this Level K course book, it actually has a assessment right here. So before you start the book, like if you didn't do the assessment online, you can still do it right here for your child to know if they're ready for it. And they recommend that you, you do that definitely before starting the curriculum and, and know that your child is for sure ready to go with it. And um, something else that I love is there's all kinds of beautiful artwork throughout the curriculum and they have uh, incorporated these beautiful paintings and they have a little bit about the paintings and then it will prompt the child to study it and really look at the picture and think critically about it and then it will ha have little prompts to go along with the painting so that they can use their imagination like for instance this one um it has these questions for the child to read that they might ask the little girl that's in the picture over here so that they really feel like they're engaged in the learning and it really gets their imagination working and they I feel like Layla has grasped the information so much. I'm I'm just seriously impressed. <laughs> but I noticed that she has so much fun with it. And I think that she's a little bit 
it's a little bit easier for her to grasp the language arts um, side of things. She seems to, it seems to come to her a lot more naturally than math. And so she can like seriously breeze through this. I love seeing that aha moment when they get something and they really know it and they're proud of themselves. You see that, wow, I worked hard and I figured it out on my own moment in their head, light up the little light bulb, ding. <laughs> it's so awesome as a homeschool parent to see that moment with your kids over and over and over again. So then for the math level K, it comes with um, two course books. This is the second one that we're on right now. And um, it comes with a ton of manipulatives. I will show you guys just a few. Uh, these wooden blocks, these shapes flashcards, numbers flashcards, these little toothpicks. You do a lot of fun um, things with the toothpicks. Oh, these pattern block pieces. There's these puzzles, these little puzzles that you can do with these pattern block pieces, among other things that um, it will show you in the curriculum. And Layla loves this. She could do these things over and over and over and never get bored. They're just a fun activity to do. Like, it's just like a fun game for your kid, a wholesome activity. She loves it. And it really gets her thinking about how to manipulate the shapes to fit into here and make this shape. And I don't know if you could see my lighting. It has the little outlines so that they can fit in there. Um, also comes with this awesome Wreck and Wreck, which we've um, really started utilizing a lot more. This numbers handwriting card that is awesome. And it even has a little space down here to learn your phone number. This I actually cut out of the book because um, I like to just let Layla hold it and read it herself. But this is a one to 10 spelling chant. And she has learned how to spell all of the number words from the spelling chant. So whenever we're doing something where she has to write out the word, then I just repeat the chant like sun and moon and stars makes three. So she'll remember T-H-R-E-E, -E, sun and moon and stars make three. And it's just a fun little repetition and it has a rhythm to it and I think that's awesome. I love how this curriculum incorporates things like that to really help your child understand and grasp the information and hold on to it longer. Um, it also comes with this calendar and for each uh, month there'll be a little area for the child to draw what that month looks like to them and a little poem. Layla loves reading these poems and uh, you can check off the days as you go so you really understand how the calendar works. So some things that I really love about this curriculum for math is that it makes it so easy for the parent to follow. You think about, well, for me, I won't speak for you, but for me, you think about teaching your child math and it might be a little bit daunting. Math was never something that came super easy to me. I uh, am super excited at how easy and low prep this math curriculum is and easy to follow for the parent. It really breaks it down and breaks it down for the child too, but also it's super engaging because it has all these colorful pictures and wonderful games. I love how there are um, a lot of these games where the child has to cut out these pictures and then sort them into different categories and things like that, but it's super engaging. Also encourages a lot of games that you use the materials it includes for you, the teacher and the child to play together. And you can just do them over and over and over again to really help your child grasp the information. And most of the time when we are done playing a game that the lesson has prompted us to, Layla will say, again, again, I wanna play it again. And so we just play it again. And that's just her learning even more and she's having fun doing it. And it doesn't feel like work, school work, you know, it's like learning through play. So I think that is a great way for children to learn math. And I'm kind of relearning along with her. <laughs> now for the handwriting, it's a super simple workbook. And uh, this is the Level K workbook. And she's almost finished with this one. She, a lot of the time, asks for more than one page. Like, I'll just, uh, she's very self-sufficient with a lot of things. And uh, she will get through a page and then she'll be like, mommy, I'm done, I'll come check it. And then she'll wanna do another one. <laughs> In the beginning of the workbook, it tells you you should do about three to four pages per week. And so you just kind of go with what works for you from there. Um, and then it has a lot of fun games. So it starts out with tracing and dot to dots and tracing pictures and coloring pictures and uh, copying these patterns. It will have some areas where it um, needs you to write any word that you want and it starts getting a little bit harder as it goes on just gradually 
more and more difficult and she's really progressed a lot with handwriting we used to do just a uh, dry erase sheet and she would practice that way and this I found she likes doing a lot more because it's a lot more engaging and a lot more fun for her so now that I've given you a little overview on the curriculum I want to tell you where Layla was at the beginning of the year and where she is now after we're winding down on finishing up this curriculum if you see me looking down it's because I'm looking at my notes down here because I had to write all this out and keep my brain on track <laughs> <laughs> it's been crazy guys so at the beginning of the year Layla really was confident with her letter sounds and she knew the vowels not like super well but she knew the vowels and she knew some sight words blends and digraphs things like that she could read like sight word books and things like that and Dan sit on a book some like people sitting on a book <laughs> That last one? I think that's a nice page, yeah. Ben has a book. All done. And now that we're almost finished with the curriculum, she knows the silent E rule, uh, nouns, verbs, the two, two, and two. She can read all of these books by herself without any of my help. She will sit there in her little chair and read these books for 30 minutes. And I got some more difficult ones. I think some are level one and some are level two. And she can read those as well. She struggles on some words, but she'll come to me and ask me what those words are. And she'll sit in her room reading those books and before bed and she'll be like, mommy, please leave the light on for 10 more minutes while I finish this chapter. And I'm just like, how are you four years old and reading these books at this level? Seth lived in a cute home by a big grove of tall trees called Green Grove. The home was not so big, but it had a big yard that the birds loved. I think that is all due to the good and the beautiful. So thank you guys for coming out with such an amazing curriculum. As far as math goes, at the beginning of the year, she counted to 20 fairly easily. She knew all of her basic shapes and colors and like AB patterns and things like that. She was very confident with those. Now that we're almost through with the curriculum, she knows a ton of the basic math. She can do addition between one and 10, like no problem. She knows all of the one through five addition doubles facts like one plus one two plus two three plus three four plus four all of those she knows the all the 3d shapes and I'm, I'm just blown away she can use the 10 frame and the number line and so many things that i'm just like wow i every time that she graphs something and she knows it off the top of her head i'm just like so impressed and it is without a doubt due to this amazing curriculum that she has come so far. So without a doubt, this curriculum is amazing as far as the level K version goes. I know that they must be even more amazing as the levels go on, but I can only speak to the level K since that is what we've worked with so far. But I hope you guys liked this video and I hope that you learned something from it. Check out the description down below for links to The Good and the Beautiful, my last video on uh, The Good and the Beautiful, and uh, their assessment if you're interested. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what curriculum you guys are using for your children right now. Yeah, so that's my little end rant. <laughs> but I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, morning, whatever, wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!